Now th that, ex that experiment, uh, it, it, we're sort of taking some of those ideas on, on board as we're, as we're developing this North, North, North Burnbot project in Shanghai. And you can see uh, the, the location of the site is right across the river from Jin Mao Tower, which is here. This is this Pearl Tower. This is uh, Pudong, which is the, the new business center of Shanghai. It's, it's north of the Bund, which is here, which is the old center of town. And, uh, and uh, the planners of this area see this as the focus for new development in the area. Uh, the height of the tower, as shown here, I think is 450 meters. We're, we're cutting this back to about 400 meters now as this design evolves. Uh, but there's an office tower and a hotel tower. At the top of the office tower, there's a, a boutique hotel. So we, we had to come up with a shape, a little bit like a morphing shape, a little bit like what we were thinking about on uh, the Trade Center Tower or the uh, Freedom Tower. But in this case, we were trying to get the shape to morph between a, a plan that works well for, for a hotel and a plan that works well for an office and also accommodates the, the core stepping back, as I was describing before. Uh, th this is just a, this is another image. Uh, this is looking uh, into the site from a new cruise ship terminal that's just right on the river uh, that takes you in. Uh, the whole lower register of the building is a, has a green roof, uh, which which would work uh, for a carbon offset, I think, for all the for all the sins of the the the, uh, the CO2 that goes into the environment uh, from the construction. Uh, but also, it, it creates a new park. Uh, that's linking the the waterfront into the site. And there's a there's a retail there's a retail program that sits in inside the base of it, and uh, this is hotel tower, office tower, and you can see the shape sort of uh, morphing up uh, to a plan that works quite well for a hotel uh, and is big enough to work as an office floor plate down in the in the lower part of the building. Thinking about changing. Uh, so, whoa, sorry. Uh, so the oh, this is a big slide. Sorry. Uh, so these are the two floor plans. This is a plan at the top of the building, sort of four-lobe shape, allows you to get a lot of surface area, which is what you need uh, to work well for the hotel. This, the, these plans are in process. If you've if you're an interior designer, you'll realize that this is not working so well quite yet. Um, uh, this is the office plan, which is working pretty well, although we're still trying to get a better fit between uh, the shape and the shape of the core. But the, 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 you can see here the, the morphing of the two shapes as, as the building goes up. And The um, one of the, one of the challenges of this sh of the shape is actually getting the structure to work, and you can see here uh, this row of columns is actually had the same number of columns as in the as in the lower floor plate, and these columns actually follow the shape of the building as it goes up. So it works uh, like a tube, like the original Trade Center buildings, and uh, like the way the Hancock Building works in uh, Chicago. Uh, it's it's a tube structure, but the tube is tube is actually changing in geometry. Uh, following the shape of the building as it goes up, uh, and so this is this is where the green comes in. Everybody's looking for the green on here, but the uh, one of the, one of the things that's very interesting in China now is that the the Chinese are becoming extremely ambitious, at least uh, on paper, uh, about adopting green strategies. Uh, there actually is a mandate from the government to to cut the the amount of Energy required by built by uh, archi by architecture by 50 uh, percent. There's no date or deadline established for that, but they they're very ambitious about trying to make uh, buildings perform better. Uh, at the end of the day, there there isn't uh, there isn't really a, a way of monitoring buildings to see if they're they are that effective or not. Uh, but our client is is uh, is very interested in integrating strategies that are going to allow these buildings to work more efficiently. Uh, in terms of energy. So one of the things that we're uh, exploring is a, uh, is a surface that overlays the skin of the building. So it's a, it's a glassy skin. The client wants to sell the views and so on. Uh, but, but we're creating a kind of a, a sunshade device that varies in depth depending on its orientation. So on the north side, it's very shallow. 
as it migrates towards the east and the west sides, it gets deeper. Uh, that's, that starts to limit the amount of daylight that's coming into the building. Uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow us to use uh, clearer glass and have better views out through the building, uh, but also it's going to reduce the amount of energy that's required to, uh, to condition the space. Uh, these are some very, very preliminary studies of what it might be like to look out, because as soon as you propose something like that, the first the first question from the client is, well, what's going, to like, what's going to be like to be inside there? I don't want to be in a cage with bars. But uh, we're working on fine-tuning this now so that, uh, so that the elements don't block your view as you look out, and they're more like deep window mullions on the exterior of the building. Um, 